it, it took, well, let's see, uh, because I was not kind of reviewing your petition. Yep, it was in October. 10, 21. That's how long it took me from September. I got in the clearinghouse September the 14th. I'll never forget. So it took that long from the 31st. And another thing, you know, they got two days. Or so. It's a lot of little things in there. But I got in there September 14th. And I, I was not going to take it. I knew that I wasn't dirty. I passed that drug test, and I knew that that wasn't right. And I just kept looking, and uh, I, I was I found out about the FMCSA data queue portal that you got to build an account for. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad. All right, Deshaun in the building. <laughs> all right, man, so we're just going to go in and uh, jump right into it. So, uh... You 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 came in my comment session uh in on a video of of the clearinghouse video that I that I talked with uh with one of the young ladies from um uh Life Over, Over the Road recruiting. And uh right. and you uh you mentioned that uh you know we you know it was a back and forth between you and another commenter. Uh, I think uh, the commenter got uh, popped for uh, refusing a pre-employment drug test, and I, right. I I reached out to the young lady of Life on the Road Recruiting because she deals with uh, SAP, uh, you know, and drug screenings and stuff like that. And to our understanding, or at least what I got out of it, and what I you know, read elsewhere is that you can get popped for refusing a pre-employment drug test when you leave. Say, for example, if you you go in there, you sign, you know, you sign in the book, you're ready, but you get another phone call saying, hey, we we going to offer you 10 cent more than what you're going to get right now. Come on over to us. And then, you know, we like, oh, okay, cool. You know, then y'all get up, y'all tell the people, hey, that's all right. Thank you. No, thank you. And then they write on there that you left. It's an instant refusal. And they put it in your clearinghouse. So what you're saying is, and from the information that you have sent me, pre-employment is, 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 you're not, supposed to get popped by pre, uh you're not supposed to get popped if it's pre-employment go ahead and explain that right, per the, well per the rules anyway and it says specifically that um for a pre-employment test is not deemed okay so i'll just give you the whole one uh fa fail to provide a u.s specimen for any drug test required by this part of the dot agency uh fair to remain at the site until the testing process complete Provided that employee an employee who leaves the testing site before the testing process commences, and then it adds therefore a pre-employment test is not deemed to have refused. And you know, it's countless people getting hit like that, and they just don't know. And you know, it's not going to be just automatically removed off of your clearinghouse unless you dispute that. So you will, you know, if you get the wrong information, you'll just be taking the self class and uh. You know, I had to spin that and ruin your little old situation. All right. Behind, you know, that so, information. So what what happened with you, my guy? Uh you I I, I don't wanna I don't wanna speculate, so I I I'll have you explain it. But what what happened with you and you and how did you get, you know, get that uh get that cleared out of your clearing house? So uh I was with a carrier. Uh, out of Chicago. I don't know if anybody familiar with that, but so I was with a carrier out of Chicago and um, it was crazy because we was having weird conversations leading up to this. Like, for example, I'll give you one of the conversations we had. One of the conversations was about literally why black people get shot by the cops, right? Okay. So I ended up quitting weeks later and um, and when I quit, I quit on August the 26th. And September the 1st, they sent me for a reasonable suspicion. I was like, what? It's crazy. So I go take the reasonable suspicion, take it, pass it. And in the process of that, they cancel it. 
and gave me a refusal and um, put it in the current house. Okay, what? You know, wait, 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 like wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, so is this what the is this what the company you was trying to get with, or a company that you was with? Company that I was with. Okay, I was okay. with the company. Okay, so they sent you in right. for so they so they was a so they sent you in for a random, a reasonable suspicion. Uh, you know, a reasonable suspicion is different. You know, um, it's certain criteria that the company got to meet to be able to send somebody for a reasonable suspicion. And one of those is that the company has to have a direct employee representative, which is a DER. Mm -hmm. And the DER is a person who studied and trained to be able to supposed to be able to know when you're under the influence, even if you're not in their presence on the phone. And, and a reasonable suspicion could be... Uh, we get into an argument over the phone, and I think that you are being belligerent. Mm. That's reasonable suspicion for a drug test. Or, uh, you know, maybe you just woke up, maybe you slurred, or anything that I deem, you know, almost anything. And I was actually talking to um, a guy from mm. the FMCSA. His name is Bill Morgan. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he literally told me that, you know, because if you want to go in and fight these accusations, you know, a company could just come back and without, you know, what you do is you need a records request. And during in that records request, it should be the reasons why they sent you for that drug test. So, you know, this company didn't have that. But the reasons why they sent you for the for the drug test, they don't have that, you could get kicked out too. But, um, and, uh, you know, he's telling me that it's not hard to just, you know, it's not hard for a company to say, uh, or whoop -whoop, whatever, you know, they want to say to, Deem that you need a reasonable suspicion. And then, um, you know, this company literally canceled that drug test. Well, that's what kind of I think saved me. And then I passed it, and, you know, they said it was refused, a lot of things. Um, okay. You got so up to 32 hours. To get to I, I, I got a, I, I guess I got a few questions in that. Okay. So they, they, they said that they was, they, they suspected you to be, uh, belligerent or anything so they sent you in for the drug test you went took the drug test you you didn't right. leave you 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 didn't leave or nothing like that you went in peed in the cup and and they right. gave they, they, they got my receipt they, right they should give you a receipt the, right of of you right, doing that right, right? And, and that's part of what saved me as well but that does not keep you, uh, you know, that could, it was, you know, the way I look at it, it's malicious intentions. And a person can have malicious intentions and do it like that. Yeah, it's, it's possible. Okay. And, and, you know, I got mine deleted, but, yeah. So they, so Man, you got, so you got the receipt in hand. Next thing you know, you, you, you get another call from, from the company or from the people that did the test that said that you refused the test. I didn't get nothing but a um, email notifying me that there's been a change to my clearance. <laughs> wow! So, right, so yeah. you found all that out through your clearinghouse. So you, you, of course, you go to your clearinghouse, you peep it out, and and these people that you're driving for, uh, put in there that you refused the drug test, even though that you right that you took it uh, that, that that you took it and got the receipt for it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So after you saw that, what 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 was on what was on your mind when you saw that, and what did you do after that? Oh, I thought I was done, man. I thought it was over with for me. Uh, you know, initially I thought I was over with, but you know, the type of guy I am, I immediately, you know, got online and started seeing what I could find that. And uh, you know, and I actually was, you know, reaching out to people trying to look for help. And, you know, Miss Jerry was one of the people who told me, that, unfortunately, you're going to have to take the South class. OK, OK. Yeah. So before we so we before we get to Miss Jerry, uh, what did you do as far as the company? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm sure you called up somebody so just, in the I just, company. I just text the guy. Yeah, I, I, I did. It was a small mom and pop. So. You know, I, I'm a firm believer, and you know, I, I knew that it was malicious, and I knew that they wanted to get some type of, um, you know, they was looking for some type of uh re reaction out of me, and I I just say, oh, so you put me in the clearinghouse, right? And he just sent me a, uh, yeah, he told me send me a text message, tell him I check it out, and 
and that I didn't, I failed to refuse for any tests. I, I, I just stopped speaking to them and uh, went straight to the books. And I found, uh, wait, you know, I just found out how to do it. But you were still, what was you still driving for them? I told you, I quit on the 26th. Okay. And they me for the suspicion on the 1st. Oh, okay. The 26th, I want to say, like a Friday. They sent Monday or Thursday, and, you know, Monday I had a drug test to go do. I was like, what? But wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so you quit. So you quit on a Friday. The company that you that you quit from requested a drug test for you, from you on a Monday. Okay, right. I got a two part. Not only that, they, they, they also tried to hit my DAC report too. Hey man, they did a lot. They tried to hit DAC and clearhouse. All right, so I got a. I got okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. I I okay. I see where I, I see where this is going. Okay, so you quit, you quit on a month, you quit on a month, uh, Friday, but you still, but why did you? Okay, if you quit the company, why did you go and take? Why did you do go and take the drug test when they requested you didn't work for the company no more? Right. The reason I went is because I know the how to, the clearinghouse. I didn't want to have no issues with that. Oh, That's exactly why. okay. I was trying to prevent that. Okay, you know okay, okay, was, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was one of those situations. I, I know I was like, ah. yeah. okay. Uh, I, I was, I was like, okay, I, I don't need this situation. So let me go just take this test. Right. Before some crazy going And, uh, with some crazy already. Because I wasn't going to take it. But some crazy, they, they already had those intentions for me anyway. All right. So, the mom you know, and, and the guy literally told me, he was like, uh, you know, uh, I can make this look really bad on you. And I was like, man, I don't care. And bah, click, boom. Right. I, I wasn't thinking that it would be some malicious illegal thing that they were saying. All right. So, all right. So you're, you're done with the mom and pop company. Now you're, now, now you're on the, the, the FMCSA clearinghouse, which makes it a little bit more difficult for you to get what a, I, I'll say reputable, uh, companies that looks that looks at that. So now you have to go through the uh, FMCSA SAP program in order to get a back to work type deal. So you reached out to uh, Miss Jerry on Life of Over the Road Recruiting. What was the uh, what was the answer that you was actually looking for, and what was the answer that that she provided you? You know, I, I was um, at a. Sh I was shocked, man, when I found out I was in a clearinghouse. You know, I never had a drug test issue ever. You know, I wasn't even fancy like that. And um, you know, and 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 I felt that this, the, you know, the situation when I explained it to somebody would be like, you know, well, they couldn't do that. I, I, I just knew it was no way that they could do that. And I'm sure that there was somebody that could help me. And I just looked for people that was, you know, you know, um in the field. So I reached out and uh she responded and I told her my situation and uh you know like unfortunately you know you will have to take the SAP program. and I called local SAP programs around my in my city and I'm in Houston. I, I called local around and you know they're not in the business of, of, of um helping you clear that they in the business of can you in the program, you know? Right. That's where their money at. That that's that's where right. they money at. You know, it. they get you they 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 get you in the business. They 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 that's that's how they that's how they make their money. It's like I, I hate to use this analogy. It's just like child support. You know, they that child support is not in the business of helping you to get uh, you know get out of the child support or help you with your child or anything like that. They in the business to continue that money flowing. Right. It's the same situation with uh, a lot of those SEP program providers. You know, they don't, you know, uh, actually, this is probably a, like a, I ain't going to say a loophole, but a lot of people don't know this, you know. It's a lot of drivers, I'm sure, don't know this, and I'm sure it's a lot of drivers probably coming out of those small companies in Chicago that's, that's uh in this situation. I'm no, I know I'm not the first person. Okay. But that's a trick that they do, give you a drug test and then cancel the test and put you in the clearinghouse. Mm. And even if at best, you know, they, they just 
uh, took you down for a couple months because it took me three months to clear this up. All right. So, all right. So, unfortunately, you 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 kept running into roadblocks as far as trying to get this uh, get this rectified, and you and you definitely didn't want to go through the SAP program. So, what what was the process? Of what was the process of you starting to, you know, make the move to start getting this stuff cleared out your clearinghouse? Um, I just literally read chapter forty nine of the uh, U.S. Code on that. On this, let me keep for you. Uh, I'll just start reading that. To be honest with you, um, it's a uh, it's, it's it's DOT Rule forty nine CFR Part forty six and forty. I just started reading that. And uh, I've seen that they cannot cancel a drug test. They can't cancel a drug test and submit that, or uh, an invalid test can't be. Um, and when I seen that, you know, I just, my heart stopped. I was like, man, they canceled my test and did that, you know? And uh, and I, what I did was, so the way, you know, it's a dispute process that you have to go through. You know, it's not, and it's not involved with the clearinghouse. The clearinghouse, you can't dispute it with them. They not, they just like a, a database for that. You know, once you're in clearinghouse, that's just a database. They can't help you re get a removal or a deletion. And matter of fact, they won't help you. They can't. Uh, you need to file a dispute through data cues. This is FMC CSA data cues, and where you would dispute any violation if if you would have got a, uh, you know, a you know, you had bad tire traction or you had a light out, you could dispute all those as well. Anything that's a violation can be disputed. I didn't know that either. And, you know, so I know that now, though, you know, you can dispute anything that, that you know, it, it's not just um, set in stone when somebody do that to you. Okay. It's, the only thing you can't dispute is um, literally failures. Like if you fail a drug test, can't dispute that. And a real refusal can't be disputed. Real refusal.